Hey everybody, it's Seven, coming at you. President Trump has made September the uh, uh, preparedness month, uh, awareness month, to be prepared for any kind of emergency, uh, natural emergency or otherwise. And ever since 2004, presidents have made proclamations in September, so this is nothing new. But I would like to go over a couple of points that may make this proclamation a little more visceral. First, many of you may know, and those that don't, please research it if you, if you believe that you need to. In December of last year, President Trump signed an emergency declaration, uh, a state of emergency, which allows him to utilize the military. Remember, it's foreign and domestic. Um, in March of this year, an addendum to military tribunals was uh, put forth, adopted. This was back in uh, March. Right now, if you look at all the financial markets, like, <laughs> freaking my mining is like going tanking big time. I, I'm losing more money than what I realized. And it kind of gets you to thinking about, well, Bitcoin is not just a, an American market. It's not just a whatever it's actually a world market. So as Bitcoin starts collapsing down and my ethos start, or Ethereum starts crashing to the rocks, I got to ask why. And when I look around a little bit, I'm a little scared because it looks like the entire world is right up to financial brink of collapsing. Uh, so that's just a personal view of mine. Uh, if you could... If you had access to uh, a, a lawyer system, you could verify this. There's 51, over 51,000 sealed indictments right now. And the reason why this is important to understanding perhaps my drift on President Trump's preparedness, there's about 1,000 sealed indictments a year that come out of the courts. Uh, we have 51,000, so there's 50,000 extra sealed indictments. And I don't care what you have to say. That is an anomaly that is to be reckoned with. That's not just a chance. Not just a chance. Um, and the, the very last thing uh, to these points of why I'm saying that maybe we need to pay attention is the Ohio governor was quoted, and I actually watched the video, it's on YouTube, the Ohio governor was quoted as saying that uh, Senator McCain was put to death, not laid to rest, put to death. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here to try to argue into waking up and taking a red pill and realizing that uh, you have been living a lie along with everybody else. But with the facts that I've laid out, I cannot see that you cannot take this month as being more serious than any other month as far as, or any other, any other September month. Something's going down. And it's going to get ugly. And it, when it gets ugly... You gotta have a plan, okay? I'm not talking about Wild West, go out and shoot up everybody. No, no, no. I'm talking about a plan to protect yourself, your family, your assets, your home, your neighbors. Have a plan. Talk with your neighbors if you can. Make sure that everybody's looking out for everybody. Or if you're in a place that maybe the neighbors aren't, so acceptable to your style of living, just have a plan for yourself. 
protect yourself. Okay, protect yourself because any one of a dozen things could fall right now and the dominoes would go. I mean, let's face it, if you have a high profile individual that was arrested and taken off to a military tribunal and then executed for high treason, that's going to piss a lot of people off, especially if it happens to be Obama. Because people cannot look past the skin color anymore. They have to say, well, they killed him because he's black, not because he was traitorous and basically sold our country out along with Hillary Clinton and a bunch of other shit. But you know, that's for another video. I just want you to be prepared, have a plan, have food, money, insurance paid, whatever. I have my wife actually keeping the car on full in case we have to get out of here uh, up to my brothers. But other than that, just live your lives and be prepared. Live your life and be prepared. So that way, if nothing happens in the city or the place that you're at, your life goes on. You'll hear about it in the news and you'll see it. But if it happens to be somewhere closer to home, then you have a plan to fall back on to protect yourself, your family, your home, your loved ones, your neighbors. Guys, the next... I'm going to say probably 30 days, 30, 30 days, our entire history of this country is going to be written. Are we ones to go on with the lies and deceit and bullshit and traitorish actions of the people that we put in office or allegedly put in office? Or are we going to say enough of this? We are one nation under God, indivisible, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. To have liberty, you have to have accountability. So, as things start becoming more to the surface, and people start realizing that A lot of people have been trying to say it's going down, and it really is. I don't know. When their world crashes about them, no, no telling how they're going to act. No telling what they're going to do. Maybe, maybe they will do the right thing and just have a plan of their own to take care of themselves, their family, their loved ones, their home. But then again, maybe not. Because if one is not accountable for their actions, with high crime rates and so on and so forth, especially in the cities with a lot of people, then when, when the shit does hit the fan, those people in those cities need to be extra vigilant to take care of themselves and have have a plan to protect themselves. So, we're down here in Dallas. We got a plan. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, to every American, every patriot, I say, where we go one, we go all. Some of us will go without hesitation. Some of us will go kicking and screaming, but nonetheless, we will go.